Hey guys, I often hear riding dirt makes you a better motorcycle rider. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. As you guys know, I have the WR250 fucking R. Modified, by the way, much quicker than stock. Much, much, much nicer than stock. It ought to be. I put $4,000 in it. But I want to talk about that. I want to see... I want to give my opinion on whether I think riding dirt makes you a better rider. I'll tell you guys that if you look at Mark Marquez, Valentino Rossi, and a lot of the... Uh, the MotoGP riders, the pro riders, uh, sport, super sport riders, or excuse me, let's just say super bike riders. Most of them ride dirt, guys. I don't know if you know that or not. Marquez, and I know for a fact, Valentino Rossi and Mark Marquez ride dirt. And they do it for training, actually, to help them prove their skills at the track. So it is, <laughs> it's a proven fact that riding dirt will help you make you a better rider at the track. And in my opinion, as far as making you a better street rider, I think it overall just it, it helps improve your skills. You know, I haven't done any heavy, you know, I haven't been to the MX track. I've yet to go to a proper single trail. As you guys know, I'll fuck around out in the woods. You know, I've messed around on a couple of light single tracks. But basically just urban fuckery, you know, in the woods and some hills here and there. Take it off road, haul ass, do just fuck general fuckery. And I feel like since riding this bike, definitely it just it makes me feel I don't know, I, I feel like it has improved me as a rider. Personally. It makes me feel really, really great on my CBR 1000 WR. I mean, I don't know what to say, but I'll tell you as far as it, it basically it's it's two different skill sets though really man I mean off road in my opinion requires much a little bit more skill than riding on the street on riding street it's all about defensive riding it's about just staying safe out here you know avoiding cars from fucking with you um, just trying to survive out here but you know off road it's really the skill set of, of balance, you know, handling, bike handling. Um, just, it's just, I think it's awesome to do both. Do all three. Track, street, which I have yet to hit the track. Whether with the Superbike or the MX track. This bike, I love this. I tell you guys, I, I, I love riding both bikes I, love, I think I love riding this bike more than I do my CBR 1000 R because it's just, it, it's like, feels like a fast bicycle. So lightweight. Gosh, it's quick now that it's modded. But it's so awesome, man. Fucking awesome. But I'll tell you guys that I'm actually, I have more wet dreams of riding off road. And getting a, you know, riding my WR250 off road or in dirt, getting a proper dirt bike and even riding. Off road is just a blast, man. It's not, and for those of you that talk shit, oh, it's for the kids. That's for, dude, you trying to be a fucking kid again. Dude, I see more middle aged dudes, people of all fucking ages riding dirt bike. I actually see more older dudes than, than kids riding dirt bikes, man. I see a ton of older dudes out here riding. Makes this rider so remarkable. He is one of the top motorcycle racers in the country for his age group. He's won national championships, is respected wherever he goes. He's also old, really old. I'm Joe Galley, I'm 74 years old. And Joe doesn't just compete, he races enduro events, seven hour marathons where riders 50 years younger don't even finish. Well, there come to the point where you think, wow, I think I gotta give up, you know, but you just keep on pushing and and I've been doing that so long now that I don't even think about giving up. I just think I'm gonna go until I completely can't go anymore. 
shit. There's no age limit to it, man. It's about how much risk you want to take. Obviously, if you're older, you don't want to probably be hitting the MX track be doing like, uh, you know, 50-foot jumps or something, you know. But just do it, doing single tracks, riding, you know, out in the, uh, just, you know, doing light, you know, off-roading or, or, you know, single track, even technical single track riding. There's no reason why anybody of any age, as long as you're in good condition, and that's, there's no reason why you shouldn't shouldn't be able to to uh, ride a, a dirt bike or a dual sport or whatever. Actually, it's in my opinion, riding off road is is an absolutely an awesome cardio workout, man. I tell you guys, you you ride a single track, and uh, which I've ridden a couple of lightweight ones, probably meant for uh, mountain bikes. <laughs> But if you fuck around, even just fucking around in the woods on no track, just making your own trails, it, it could be very, very tiring, man. It could really give you a nice cardio workout, I'll tell you guys. I love riding this bike. Fun, fun, fun. Good times, man. <laughs> Woo! But, uh... Yeah, guys, I I feel like uh, I think I think everybody should ride dirt if you can, if you have the um, like I said, if you're not a fat ass, there's no reason why anybody should be riding dirt, man. Woo! <laughs> Even riding it at night, baby. <laughs> fucking love. <laughs> I'll be careful. I don't want to do a fucking pole out here. I can't. I better turn my eyes on. I can't see shit. <laughs> Some slide action, baby. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Fun shit. See, this is just lightweight shit. Anybody can do this shit. It's fun, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good times, man. There's no reason why anybody can't do this shit. Yeah, in my opinion, it'll make you a better rider, man. And, uh, but like I said, two different skill sets though, man, for street, like I said, defensive riding. That takes, that takes, uh, experience over time. Many years experience become, holy shit, got some fucking gravel out here, man. But I'll tell you one thing that's so awesome about a dual sport see his grass here hills ah fuck it I'll go right through it <laughs> fuck it can't do that on my super bike man or a street regular street bike I go anywhere and anywhere everywhere with this bike it's fucking amazing man but I can't wait to hit the MX track man right now god I wanted to do it on my trip out west in my bug out van Oh, I look forward to doing it, man. But I had a family member that fell ill. And I'm helping to uh, to care for the family member. So, my time is... Psh, so, I'm sorry I didn't get to the MX track for you guys. and But hopefully next year I'll be able to... I want to get out with the track with my CBR 1000 RR and also my WR250R. Oh. <laughs> See how quick this bike is, man. I'm telling you guys, this shit is a blast, bro. Woo! I have so much fun on this bike, man. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. See here. See this here. Normally, with any other bike, you'd be like, oh, okay. Uh, you can't you can't really fuck with this with a, a street bike, but you know what the skinny ass tires and this bike and this bike having the ability to go anywhere fucking want to go <laughs> oh, I love the dual sport man It's the hooligan ride Tell you guys it's fun 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 dual sport action, baby But hey guys, that's all I have for you. I want to hear your thoughts. Does uh, dirt, you feel like dirt makes you a better motorcycle rider, riding dirt, you know, dirt bike, off-road, 
Does it make you a better rider? Leave your comment below. I want to hear your take on it. I think all you guys should be riding a dual sport though. Everybody. For everybody. Even you shorties out there. Like I said, I don't want to hear none of you guys bitching about seat height. There's no reason why anybody can't ride. All you got to do is the one leg kickstand. Like this. But there you go. There you go. One leg, bro. That's it. Everybody can do that. But that's all I have for you guys. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. All my videos are categorized in a various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel. Share this video with your friends. And let them know, man, to be a complete rider, you got to ride track, dirt, and street. All three, baby. All three. I'm not the complete rider yet until I ride track. But hey, guys, that's all I had for you. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out modal van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.